Uh, hi, I am Andrea Jagodic, CEO of Mana Biosystems, and I have been asked to give a quick overview of potential future collaboration opportunities in insect rearing between UK and Africa. I will start with a little background on Mana. We farm the black soldier fly for applications in animal feed and pet food markets. Our mission is to address the bottlenecks to scaling insect protein production in sub-Saharan Africa through technology and through technical optimization of the rearing process. Mana has a technology hub and insectarium based here in London, and we're about to open our first pilot farm in Kenya by the end of the summer. So I apologize if my overview is a little bit skewed toward the BSF and the East African market, but the black soldier fly is arguably where the UK has greatest expertise as well, and therefore where the UK has a great opportunity to build on our expertise and export this technology. So when it comes to drivers of opportunity um, for insect protein, Globally, protein shortage is projected at 60 million tons by 2030, with the emerging global insect protein market growing fast and predicted to reach $8 billion by 2030. The boom in insect production in Europe and Northern America has mostly been driven by deregulations of insects for aquaculture feed and layer hen feed, as well as regulation of insects for human consumption through novel food legislation. And production has been primarily driven by large-scale capex intensive, fully automated facilities. East Africa, in particular, is well positioned to capture the opportunities presented by the insect protein for the following reasons. With the world's fastest growing population and disposable income, demand for meat is growing exponentially in sub-Saharan Africa, and prices of protein for animal feed have increased by 50 to 94 percent since 2014, currently accounting for up to 70 percent of production costs. Rockefeller Foundation estimated 90,000 tons of unmet demand for insect protein in Kenya alone in 2019. The market is also ready for a change with the studies indicating that about 90% of farmers and 85% of feed producers in Kenya are ready to use insect-based feed. Kenya is championing the development in regulatory infrastructure for inclusion of insect meal in feed and pet food, which is being adopted across East Africa and will hopefully soon begin to be adopted in West African markets as well. It is also a fast-growing sector. Since 2015, ISIPE has trained more than 5,000 farmers, young entrepreneurs, policymakers, and scientists across Kenya on how to use a black soldier fly for feed. The African Insect farming industry is rapidly developing with an emphasis on production of insects as a source of protein in poultry, swine and aquaculture feed, but also an increasing activity in pet food and a rising number of companies focusing on insects for human consumption. Insects used for human consumption commonly reach higher prices and profit margins, but also have a higher rearing complexity. The biggest barriers to scaling insect production in Africa, one is access to investment and startup support. So while there is some business support and fundraising support available, such as the business incubator at Jomo Kenyatta University, where Ecodudu started, the sector could definitely benefit from access to more funding and more soft support. Second, technology automation and upgrade. The market is facing different environmental, legislative, and labor conditions to the producers in the West, obviously, but current rearing practices could still hugely benefit from technology updates and control of certain aspects of the rearing process. Second is waste, the third is waste stream challenges. Uh, basically, waste is plentiful, but aggregation is the challenge. There is a wide variety of waste allowed, which can be fed to insects, including post-consumer waste from commercial sources, market waste, animal proteins, as well as human waste, which is Sanergy's pioneering business model. The UK and EU are facing much more restrictive legislation on inputs allowed in black soldier fly or rather insect feed, uh, which could be summarized as pre-consumer organic waste. The issue lies in aggregation and separation of waste to enable consistent access throughout the year to a large-scale facility, which might lead to more room for more decentralized rearing models, which can also rely on the growing number of smallholder farmers rearing uh, insects and the black soldier fly. 
So the UK industry has received a 10 million UKRI grant last year to help scale into cycles, better origins and better bugs uh, technologies and engage a wide range of academic institutions and stakeholders in commercializing the local black soldier fly for feed industry. On this slide, you can see just some of the black soldier fly producers and prominent universities building significant expertise in the sector, but it is by no means exhaustive. The UK is also home to a growing number of insect pet food and insects for human consumption companies as well. So to uh, summarize some of the collaboration opportunities, um, one being technology and automation. So environmental control and process automation will need to be implemented and are likely to be taken up gradually. Uh, breeding and mating um, and post-process technologies, however, are an area of increasing interest, with farmers currently buying black soldier fly larvae and paying to dry larvae. There is scope to collaborate on breeding and post-processing technologies, with world-leading technologies being developed and patented by UK producers such as EntoCycle and Better Origin. Second, genetics and biotech. There is room for optimization of local strains for size, egg yield, as well as external conditions such as temperature resistance and breeding for optimization on locally used waste streams. The UK is home to the most advanced expertise in black soldier fly breeding and biotech through better bugs with unique expertise in biotech trait generation methods, quantitative genetics and selective breeding, as well as high throughput phenotyping technologies. Betabug's presence at the Roslyn Innovation Center is building expertise at University of Edinburgh and Roslyn Institute, the world leading center of excellence in animal and plant breeding, which is already collaborating with Isipe in Kenya on a cricket breeding program. There are also opportunities for collaboration on feed recipe optimization, fermentation, and valorization of additional waste streams, such as, for example, agriculture waste, for instance, as the black soldier fly bioaccumulate omega-3 fatty acids. So we need to identify what organic waste streams can be dollarized and the potential health and safety challenges as well. Collaboration on feed rationing and recipes with a wider range of waste could also be useful for applications in markets such as pet food globally. Then there's a zoo technical or rearing process knowledge sharing, and finally, higher margin application. So collaboration should also focus on value adding and higher profit margin activities and look at the byproducts. Uh, this is also how we can have the biggest impact on the income of the farmers. So as a case study, uh, MANA is uh, now co collaborating with Imperial College London on high performance black soldier fly feed from blends of waste resources generated by agricultural processing and environmental pollutants that cause major ecological and health damages, such as coffee pulp waste and water hyacinth from freshwater lakes, which are huge contaminants in sub-Saharan Africa and are far, far less valorized than other waste streams. Um, and then uh, a little highlight on ISIPE, as we could see from Sunday's presentation, ISIPE is working on a large number of impactful research. So here I'd like to highlight just two, one being chitosan extraction. So ISIPE has pioneered a method for extraction of chitosan from black soldier fly shells. Insect chitosan properties are comparable to crab shell based chitosan, and it's a high margin product with important benefits for animal and plant health, but also applications in pharmaceutical and cosmetics industries, or even tissue engineering. Domestic, and also domesticating an increasing number of insects and pioneering artificial diet formulation, uh, which is especially interesting for insects as food market. Here you can see just a couple of photos we took at uh, Isipe's Insectarium when we were visiting it. Um, so to kind of finish on what uh, it will take to uh, scale insect farming in Africa. One is scale and aggregate collection and separation of organic waste streams to pilot use of new waste streams of organic um, waste for black soldier fly production applications or rather insect production applications and test the impact with end users. 
Three, invest in advanced machinery to become more productive and reduce post-harvest losses. Four, improve collaboration and knowledge transfer across the value chain. And five, work with government to stimulate and support insect-based protein market. And finally, improve access to finance for Black Soldier Fly farmers and manufacturers. So this is all from my overview. Thank you and see you at the panel discussion.